Welcome everyone to today's video. Today I wanted to talk about some more recent and more important issue. In my last week daily vlog style videos you may have seen me unboxing the SFX power supply that we then installed into some ITX case and swapped some server things around. Amazon also delivered the wrong hard disk. It turns out I actually ordered the right one, they just delivered the wrong one. And as I needed more anyway, I then also reordered a couple of more of those. So now we really got this 4 terabyte, 2.5 inch Seagate Barracuda. This is by the way neither an Amazon nor a Seagate promotion. The video will be a little bit critical anyway, so I'm not sure if they would want to sponsor this video anyway. So we purchased this for our own stock and use here at Exacode. The Amazon reviews are already mixed for this kind of hard drive. There are already people complaining about clicks and something and maybe also premature deaths after six months or so. So time will show if this is really a good choice. The reason why we ordered this is that we cannot fit two big hard disks here into this kind of cases and we need medium amount of storage but not too much. So this is why the setup is okay for us. And now we wanted to try the latest and greatest, biggest and smallest hard drives. And um, yeah, time will show how long they will survive. One very important thing that I immediately noticed on the first day however, and that I wanted to point out today is that these hard drives are really clicking quite a little bit. The reason appears to be We are locked into the system and when we look onto the smart control studs here. So this are a Seagate Barracuda 2.5 inch 4500 rotations per minute ST4000 LM24. Um, 4 terabyte by the way. There is a new BIOS limitation so even this not that old BIOS here of this I think this is a Sapphire AM2 plus something IPP or by the way you can also Ah uh, yeah, to be filled by OEM, super helpful. Yeah, it's in uh, Sapphire IPC AM3 DD785G. Some AM3 plus something, it's a AMD Phenom here right now, but that doesn't really matter. We are currently waiting for the release of the next Ryzen generation for our next update period here of hardware. But back to the point, so what I noticed here, by the way, I intentionally run this text here large for you to read. This is so large because the uh, built-in screen has a higher DPI. So this actual desktop system is booting in high DPI mode and I leave it so big for you to read in the video. And this brand new hard drive, first I worried that it came already old, but start-stop count is only 14 and oh, here's power on hours. Why is there spin-up time? What is this? Hmm. Anyway, so power on hours are 19 hours and this could be right. I think it was running one night and some hours during the day. And one thing I noticed that this load cycle count is rising rather quickly. This is also exactly what was mentioned in this German or European site Amazon reviews. And I wanted to bring this to your attention because this could lead to this hard drives failing rather quickly. Um, this is the same. We have here three, four terabyte old fashioned rotating storage in there. The first one is the Western Digital, also with four terabyte, but three and a half inch. As I said, we have here space constraints. And this one, surprisingly, shows exactly the same behavior here with a load cycle count of already 2700. The system was only reset and switched on 11 times and was also only up and running 19 hours. For Western Digital, this was a quite well known issue. There are even tools for this. So Western Digital released a tool to tune this on DOS and Windows. This WD Idle 3 Excel and some People have re-implemented this for Unix systems and also the latest version of HDPARM comes with a limited version of this. So Western Digital is very much aware of this problem already for a very long time. So this apparently is an over six year old known problem and I really wonder why manufacturers still ship their hardware in such a configuration that it results in excessive load cycles. Apparently I think I googled it the other day I, I think this Seagate maybe specifies for 200,000 load cycles or something. So with this amount of load cycles, by the way, we had here 2,000. So Seagate is this one. So here we have 2,791. So we have six times, six times a minute by 60 minutes by 24 hours. And if we divide this 200,000 load cycles by this, we may reach 200,000 load cycles on only 23 days. Okay, let's better double check. 
Did I see 600,000 in some preview already? Okay, apparently it's slightly higher. It is 600,000, but this doesn't change so much. So it's 600,000. This would mean 69 days and we have reached the specified software controlled load unload cycles. These are only a little bit over two months. I really wonder what these vendors are thinking. If this is intentional plant obsolescence, if this would be a brand new device and energy saving feature, I would excuse the vendor and say, okay, they have not thought this through entirely. But this problem is at least six years old. And it's not new since today, not yesterday, not yesteryear. It is new since yesterday decade. And this I find really crazy. I've run already this idle 3 utility on this Western Digital Drive. So 2782. This may have been what um, we had earlier. So this on Linux is voluntarily created by an open source contributor, idle 3 control. I think run this S129 for maybe the longest time or something. Maybe this was three minutes or so. So idle 3 timer, raw value, must be an integer between 1 and 255. So this apparently is for the range 1 to 128 multiplied with a tenth of a second and with 30 seconds for this higher range. I think I read somewhere that that is recommended. In any case, this is a rather high value that may be with flushing the lock of many journaling file systems every 5 seconds or 30 seconds will probably never trigger on Linux. However, this specific idle 3 timer is only for Western digital drives. So for the Seagate I found that HDParm with minus B is tuning some performance value. Some advanced power management feature for drives that support it. And the lower means more aggressive power management and the higher means better performance. And the value 254 apparently is meant to not permit spin downs. So running this I tried this earlier already and tuning this value indeed prevents this load cycles, which I don't quite understand. Even in Windows it must behave similar, as far as I can see. And even if it loads and unloads half, or even if we estimate only 10%, that would easily mean that this unload load cycle may be reached in a year's time already. So I really wonder what this vendor is thinking also. People talk so much about artificial intelligence and we cannot even get reliably working storage firmware. This is really a really puzzling point for me that even nowadays this firmware should already be quite sophisticated and yet it cannot realize that each time it is automatically unloading the heads that it is always woken up immediately within a couple of seconds. I find this really crazy and um, yeah, that, that in a time that we want to build artificial intelligence and robots that replace us and self-driving cars. So um, let's check. This value has maybe 2807. We can also grab for this. Can we also... No, that doesn't work, unfortunately. Well, we are waiting here a second. This is another office server of ours. And here you see exactly the problem. We did not realize this with this storage. And this drive already indeed has 247 load cycles. This one has even already 659,000 load cycles. And the drives in question here are also indeed a Seagate. 2.5 inch, 2 terabyte. And Western Digital with 2 terabytes. I think they should not be so old. You see the total start-stop count is only 155. They were used in the test server before they were used into this production system. And power on hours are 28,000. Let's see, what do we have on the other drive? This has even less power on hours and an even lower start-stop count. Um, hours. If this value is correct, the first drive may already be running three years. So the Seagate drive that has 1800 hours has 247 load cycles. So this could be 76 days, two months, if this is correct. Uh, which is of course a crazy high value for this time. 
this drive apparently indeed was running longer already and this has a crazy high amount of 659,000 load cycles which is the Western Digital. So this could be three years something if that is correct. 3.2 years. So this drive in just three years probably already reached its end of life load unload cycles and let's check what we got in this ones. So since we tweaked the power management settings on the Seagate drive they in the last minutes did not increase further. The idle 3 control you need to power cycle the drive and they specifically write they're not reset but power cycle so switch it off and on again for it to take effect and this advanced power management feature has effect immediately however this is lost on reset or power cycle so if you want to tune this value you need to have it in your local init scripts to have an effect so that's my warning for today of course it's crazy how far we have come i took out an old drive for you so this is an old full height 3.5 inch SCSI drive Fujitsu 2623FA apparently 425 megabyte um, manufactured in 1992 25 years ago so we have come a very long way in 25 years of storage our first hard drive actually was a 40 megabyte Seagate one in a 386 I once found an invoice for that in my father's file of maybe 600 Deutschmark or something crazy as this um, at the end, maybe in 1986 or 7 or 8 or something like this. It is a thicker drive than usual, so these drives will not fit in normal laptops. But although it is higher than a normal 2.5 inch drive, it is of course a crazy high amount of storage in this form factor. Nonetheless, I don't understand why the vendors are so sloppy that, um, that they artificially and in my opinion unnecessarily create such a high amount of load cycles and judging from the Amazon reviews I must assume that this can lead to early defects although this drive in our server still works but of course I now tuned it also to unload load cycle less to avoid this it is certainly not very desirable in server load anyway so that's it for today I hope you learned something don't forget to like share and subscribe and I hope to see you soon for all the next videos to come.